Hi, 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 Bernie here again from sunny San Diego with our latest video, which is about the instant templating in Ansel. So you can create your templates and instances cookie cutter style in a breeze as quickly as you can with no other platform. All right, so let's have a look at our Antman dashboard here. I'm logged in to silk.ansel.us. So the host name is Silk, so that's my, my Ansel here. Um, let me delete this outlet here um, so that it's gone. And what I'm gonna show you now is, you see I have a bunch of outlets here, only one is running. That's the Debian one, I call it Deb. And it has 10.1.1.13 as the IP address and is running. So in this antlet, I have an Apache web server installed. So I could just use a different tab here in my browser and all I need to type is deb.silk.ansel.us and I can access that antlet. And the antlet is, you know, just my, you know, I was about to say my VM, but as you see, it's not really a VM because we have some here that are real VMs using KVM technology, but we also have the bare metal containers here and that's what makes Ansel really special. You can get the most out of your hardware and run lots of instances and those bare metal containers, they look and feel like a complete server. It's not like a Docker container or anything, it's a complete OS and um, it's just so much more efficient. So you can run lots and lots of instances on a single server. So this Debian thing is running and you see deb.silk.ansel.us, it gives me that Apache to Debian default page and it says it works. Awesome. So now um, we have this antlet here. Um, I've installed all my stuff, right? It's not a it's not a pure Debian, so I can show you if I SSH into that. Um, you see I've made it a custom, um, you know, login screen message of the day. And then I have my custom prompt. I have my Z shell rather than the bash. And um, yeah, it's all my, my customizations here. So let's log out again. And um, now let's clone this thing right so all we gotta do we don't even need to stop it or anything we can clone it while it's running we can just say um, clone this antlet and uh, we give it a new name call it deb2 and create a snapshot name let's call it s2 and then boom just hit create antlet so it's cloning deb now and as you see, it just took a breeze. The Deb2 is here now, I can just start it. So Deb2 is now um, my clone. So I can, I can use uh, deb2.ansel.us and then it gives me that Apache default screen um, as well. So now I can SSH into the clone, the 101115, and I can edit, V stands for Vim here in my case, I have it as an alias so that I don't need to type the three letters, I just type V for Vim. And then we use the var www.html index.html. So that is that default page. We're just searching for works and um, we'll find that here it works. So now I can edit that and I can say it works even better. <laughs> okay, save that. So now if I go back to my original one and hit the reload, it still says it works. But if I use the deb2, my clone, and I hit that, it tells me it works even better. <laughs> so um, that is a clone and you know, after I've cloned it, they can, you know, diverge, right? You, the, the clone can have different stuff in there than the original, as you see here. Um, if you go back to these antlets here, the Debian antlet, 
um, you see it's taking up 709 megabytes but then if we go back and go to the deb2 um, we see that it's not using anything um, it's 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 only using 395 kilobytes on the disk so this is the cool technology we can have like 10 clones and not using all the disk space right on disk it's only using you know very little space and that is called copy on write technology so that means if we have 10 clones the 10 clones don't use up any disk space they only use the disk space for the differences for what is different in the clone than in the original you could do the same with windows antlets right you could have 10 windows 10 antlets and just use the disk space for one of those Windows systems, right? We feel that is really, really cool. And um, yeah, now I could go back to my antlets here and, you know, create a third clone. Let's do that, clone this antlet. Um, let's call it Deb3. Let's use the snapshot name S3 and boom. And it's cloning it again. It's right here. We started. It's ten one one sixteen. So you see how fast and you know it's the turnaround time is so fast. And we can just say SSH ten one one sixteen. Um, log in here and do the var ww HTML index again and make another edit. and call it it works like never before Probably like that okay so now we can go to um deb3 dot silk dot ansel dot us and then we have our third instance here it works like never before this one the deb2 is still there i can reload it it says it works even better and the first one is still there right and you know now i have three debian instances and i'm nowhere close of using three times the disk space because also this one here um is only using a few kilobytes 396 kilobytes on disk so that's the power of templating instant templating instant snapshotting um, i hope you enjoyed the video um, please support us consider subscribing and please hit the like button and um, comment down below what you think about this feature what you could use it for and i promise i'll answer each of those comments in person thanks for watching guys talk to you soon next time bye